What does it mean when organizations say they provide employee engagement? In this episode of Know the Difference, we're going to explore the key differences between using employee engagement as a verb and as a noun, because they mean quite different things. Many workplaces look to gain the benefits of employee engagement. Studies have shown time and time again that engaged employees boost productivity, increase profitability, are more loyal to their employer, and provide a competitive edge in the knowledge economy. The problem is that when most people talk about employee engagement, they're using the same term to mean two completely different things. Let's start by first defining employee engagement as a verb and as a noun. Employee engagement as a verb describes the process of soliciting feedback and keeping staff in the know, which is important, but it's mainly a communication activity. When employee engagement is used as a noun, it refers to the level of optimism, enthusiasm, and motivation that employees have when they find meaning, encouragement, and respect from their employer and from their work. Now, this might not seem like a huge difference to everybody, but this can be a very big distinction, especially if your organization is looking to get the benefits previously mentioned, like higher performance and productivity. Engaging with employees, the verb, is not what allows workplaces to receive those benefits. Yes, you certainly do benefit from good communication, of course. But this is not how you get the advantages you're really looking for. What most organizations really want is motivated and inspired employees who show up happy to be at work and are productive and effective in their job. Where this distinction can get you into trouble is when companies look to implement employee engagement. Often they will end up buying software that offers the verb of engagement, thinking or expecting that it will give them the noun of engagement. But it won't, at least not on its own. Leaders and managers need to be mindful of this distinction when they are looking to improve workplace culture. Software and surveys that engage employees through communication and feedback collection are helpful tools and can be a great addition to a full strategy to give you the noun of engagement. But thinking that these surveys and software are engagement is like thinking that reading a recipe is making supper. Now, you likely have a bunch of other questions like, don't you need to engage with employees to create engaged employees? What does it mean when process improvement programs say they have employee engagement? Are they offering the verb or the noun? These are excellent questions, and we will address them in some of our upcoming videos. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out. But for now, the best thing that you can do is to clarify in your mind the difference between the verb and the noun. Think of them as engaging with employees and having engaged employees. To get the true benefits, what you're really looking for is to create engaged employees. So if you'd like to know more about how you can create engaged employees, then make sure you check out some of our other videos and our website, roman3.ca, for tools, resources, and support because knowing is half the battle.